Well, you would think that uh, with the World Health Organization being tasked with handling the the worst diseases that the world has, up and coming healthcare problems, the entire third world healthcare system to start with, this is supposed to be their primary concern, yet they're worried about humans having the odd drink. It sounds completely crazy. Is this, are they using this sort of stuff as a distraction from their real job? Because honestly, fixing healthcare in the third world is difficult. Solving the problem of infectious diseases is difficult. But trying to crack down on alcohol in the West, well, that's a political decision. Well, and abortion is a very, very personal uh, and, and political issue that uh, you, you can't have the, a, a one supranational body like the WHO issuing an edict uh, which says this is the truth uh, and you shall abide by it all over, over the world. Look, let, let, we need to go back to some basic principles. There is a very good reason why we need a body like the World Health Organization. And that is that in today's totally interdependent world, uh, we, we share the fragility to all sorts of uh, global problems, including uh, pandemics, including other diseases that traverse the world. And you need a central body to collect data, reliable data, to act as a coordinated agency. And the World Health Organization has performed a very valuable task in providing technical services to a lot of poor developing countries that don't have the advanced uh, skill sets and, and knowledge and uh, labs that we have uh, in countries like the US and Australia and the UK. Uh, and so they do look to it. Uh, but when you you have a situation where, well, let me go back. The World Health Organization is first and foremost an international health bureaucracy. It is not a collection of the world's best scientists. And the director general is chosen uh, on the basis of all sorts of considerations. Uh, in, and he, at the moment, is, is an Ethiopian. But the vast secretariats of most of these organizations, including the UN system, are now populated by people who believe that their technocratic expertise gives them the right and the legitimacy to tell governments what to do. Uh, and, and drinking uh, and abortion issues uh, reflect that. But then they get infected, if you like, by the woke agenda. And so this, again, document, I went through and counted the, the phrase pregnant persons rather than pregnant women. Pregnant persons occurs 67 separate times in that document. Uh, and you throw your hands up in horror and think, is this really what the WHO should be telling poor developing countries? Uh, this is a woke imperialism uh, originating from the United States, maybe from California, uh, and being disseminated to the rest of the world. Uh, and we've seen that uh, take over. So I think they need to some higher level people to look at the damage that they're doing to their own credibility. If the WHO starts using pregnant persons, why would anyone take them seriously on anything to do with medicine and science anymore?